Today's topic is Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a neurological disorder in which the death of brain cells causes memory loss and cognitive decline. It is the most common type of dementia, accounting for 60 to 80 percent of cases of dementia in the United States. In 2013, 6.8 million people in the U.S. had been diagnosed with dementia. Of these, 5 million had a diagnosis of Alzheimer's. By 2050, the numbers are expected to double. Causes Scientists believe that for most people, Alzheimer's disease is caused by a combination of genetic, lifestyle, and environmental factors that affect the brain over time. Although the causes of Alzheimer's aren't yet fully understood, its effect on the brain is clear. Alzheimer's disease damages and kills brain cells. A brain affected by Alzheimer's disease has many fewer cells and many fewer connections among surviving cells than does a healthy brain. As more and more brain cells die, Alzheimer's leads to significant brain shrinkage. When doctors examine Alzheimer's brain tissue under the microscope, they see two types of abnormalities that are considered hallmarks of the disease. Plaques. These clumps of a protein called beta amyloid may damage and destroy brain cells in several ways, including interfering with cell-to-cell -cell communication. Although the ultimate cause of brain cell death in Alzheimer's isn't known, the collection of beta amyloid on the outside of brain cells is a prime suspect. Tangles. Brain cells depend on an internal support and transport system to carry nutrients and other essential materials throughout their long extensions. This system requires the normal structure and functioning of a protein called tau. In Alzheimer's, threads of tau protein twist into abnormal tangles inside brain cells, leading to failure of the transport system. This failure is also strongly implicated in the decline and death of brain cells. Signs and Symptoms Generally, the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease are divided into three main stages. Early Symptoms In the early stages, the main symptom of Alzheimer's disease is memory lapses. For example, someone with early Alzheimer's disease may forget about recent conversations or events, misplace items, forget the names of places and objects, have trouble thinking of the right word, ask questions repetitively, show poor judgment or find it harder to make decisions, become less flexible and more hesitant to try new things. Middle stage symptoms. As Alzheimer's disease develops, memory problems will get worse. Other symptoms may also develop, such as increasing confusion and disorientation, for example, getting lost or wandering and not knowing what time of day it is. Obsessive, repetitive, or impulsive behavior. Delusions, believing things that are untrue. Or feeling paranoid and suspicious about carers or family members. Problems with speech or language, also known as aphasia. Disturbed sleep. Changes in mood, such as frequent mood swings depression and feeling increasingly anxious, frustrated or agitated, difficulty performing spatial tasks, such as judging distances, seeing or hearing things that other people do not, as in hallucinations. Later Symptoms In the later stages of Alzheimer's disease, the symptoms become increasingly severe and can be distressing for the person with the condition, as well as their carers, friends, and family. Difficulty eating and swallowing, also known as dysphagia. Difficulty changing position or moving around without assistance. Weight loss, sometimes severe. Unintentional passing of urine or urinary incontinence or stools, bowel incontinence. Gradual loss of speech. Significant problems with short and long-term memory. In the severe stages of Alzheimer's disease, people may need full-time care and assistance with eating, moving, and personal care. Diagnosis There is no single test for Alzheimer's disease, so doctors will look at the signs and symptoms, take a medical history, 
and rule out other conditions before making a diagnosis. They may also check the person's neurological function, for example, by testing their balance, senses, and reflexes. Other assessments may include a blood or urine test, a CT or MRI scan of the brain, and screening for depression. Treatment Drugs Current Alzheimer's medications can help for a time with memory symptoms and other cognitive changes. Two types of drugs are currently used to treat cognitive symptoms. Cholinesterase inhibitors. These drugs work by boosting levels of cell-to-cell -cell communication by providing a neurotransmitter, or acetylcholine, that is depleted in the brain by Alzheimer's disease. Memantine, as in Nemenda. This drug works in another brain cell communication network and slows the progression of symptoms with moderate to severe Alzheimer's disease. It's sometimes used in combination with a cholinesterase inhibitor. Side effects may include constipation, dizziness, and headache. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.